And we're live. Happy Sunday, fun day, everyone. I see Nuff is already in the house. He's here for the puppers. We've got Ben right here. Ben, say hello to everyone. Yeah, no, you just want to lay down? Okay. All right. We'll have him say hi again in a bit. He's here, though. Uh, Black Widow Barbie is here. Hello. Thank you for being here. Yes, everyone, please hit the thumbs up. Definitely appreciate that. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Uh, that's the only way you're going to know when I'm live. And we've got Brandy. Yes, Sunday fun day. Very exciting. I've never done this live. And this was a pretty busy week. Um, I actually have been doing... Uh, quite a few collaborations where I'm on other people's channels, which takes up time and recovery time for spicy challenges, but then I don't get to film or edit for my channel. So this week was a little bit busy and I thought last minute, let's just do a live Sunday fun day. Uh, Tuna is here. Hello, Tuna. Tuna now known as Tuna Emperor. New name, same Tuna. Hi, Steven. Hi, Jimmy Pickles. Excellent, excellent. We have some great people in here. We'll give folks a little bit more time to join and then we'll sing our song. And then we have some fun drinks to review. So Truly came out with these um, punch flavored <coughs> drinks and it says it's hard seltzer, but similar to their lemonades and uh, what is it, the iced teas. They use a lot of artificial sweetener, I think. So they don't really taste like a seltzer. They taste more like soda or juice. Let's make that pretty for everybody. Saucy Shane is in the house. Hello, Shane. Glory to the tuna empire. <laughs> put that up there. Yes, 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 yes. That's not what I meant to click on. Ah, it's still doing it. There we go. The Duchess of Okayness. I love it. Uh, oh, Black Widow Barbie uh, was telling Brandy, you got to keep this chat clean. I'll see you at Luther's. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Is Luther going live tonight? I know he usually does on Friday. Nuff is drinking soda right now. Most excellent. Jimmy had a pitcher of coffee today, 14 hours of work. Oof, yeah, you have a lot of pepper plants to take care of right now. I imagine that is a lot. <clears throat> I didn't, what did I do today? Well, I did the Death Nut 3.0. Actually, I still have it on my desk. I did this yesterday with James, the Scots bonnet over at the Nuke Chili Head channel. Absolutely love doing challenges there. It's nice to have somebody else hosting when you're um, brutalizing yourself. But I thought I was in the clear. I was telling Nuff, um, didn't really have cramps from it. And then about 10 p.m. last night, right when I wanted to go to sleep, I started getting some minor cramps. So that wasn't the best, but I was able to sleep through the night. I had to get up at six this morning because I had stuff to do at church and then uh, made it through that. Uh, Blake wanted to go to the mall to pick up a video game. And so we went down there and I started hurting again. So that was fun, but I'm okay now. I'm okay. Uh, Jimmy's regretting all the coffee. Hello, Okapaya Oka King. Am I saying that right? Let me know. It's an inside joke between you and Brandy. Okay. We'll keep that between you and Brandy then. Excellent. Uh, Tunis's Alchemist went live on Friday. Uh, they're tying each other up with boat anchors and whipping each other with squid tentacles. Oh, it got dirty. All right. I would be fin fused too. Excellent, excellent. All right, well, uh, we're at 6.04, and I don't need to waste people's time. So let's get into our song. Let's start. We've got four drinks to review, so we'll get into it and just hang out. So with that, Sunday fun day, better than a Monday. Can only do it one way, and that is the drunk way.
And per usual, I doubt we're gonna get drunk. Uh, one, we don't do that on YouTube. It's not allowed. They really frown on it. In fact, sometimes they even take down drink reviews anymore, but I haven't had problems, so I'm gonna continue doing them. But yeah, all of these are typical to Trulies. They're each 100 calories. They have one gram of sugar, although that doesn't count like alcohol sugars. So it's kind of a lie. And uh, they're all 5% uh, ABV. So Black Widow Barbie says the green can first. Sure, we can do that. So the screen can is the citrus punch. And is there anything else to tell about it? Not really. No. Citrus punch. All right. I'm curious if this is going to be clear or have some sort of like artificial flavor um, coloring. Oh no, it looks clear. It's got a slight tint, maybe. That's a lot if you're going to drink four of these. Settle down, Katie. Okay. Tuna says red one first. We'll do that one next. Hanging with Mr. J. Hello, Seattle Eats. Hello, Mr. J. Latitude 65. Hi from Alaska. Hello. We are just getting into our review. This is the Citrus Punch. And it smells very strongly of lemon lime, but also smells like Hawaiian punch. So that's about right. Let's see how it how it tastes. Very sweet. Lots of lime, which I like, um, but maybe too sweet for my liking. I uh, think I mentioned before, and I mentioned the description, I really like the Truly Lemonades, and I like all of the Truly Iced Tea flavors. Um, those are pretty sweet. They use the same artificial sweeteners. Stevia, yeah, they use Stevia, which is like a healthy-ish artificial sweetener. But this one's maybe sickeningly sweet, not sure. The Duchess of Okayest is okay at everything except for drinking. She's an empress at that. Cheers to that, Tuna. Hmm. I'm not sure what I think about that. It's okay. It's definitely drinkable. Okay, Tuna wanted me to try the red one. So the red one makes sense, is our traditional fruit punch. Uh, latitude, the alcohol percent is 5%. So I think that's pretty consistent with all tr Trulies. They're all 100 calories, all 5%. I don't think they can get any stronger without increasing uh, the, the caloric value. Oh, this one might be tinted a little. Oh, it's pink. That's cute. Okay. Brandy wants purple next. Absolutely. Stevie has a plant, so it's not really artificial. That is true, but it's also not sugar. So I kind of lump all of those into like artificial sweeteners. But yeah, I mean, lots of people use Stevie and they think it's pretty healthy for you. I don't know. I don't know how much research has gone into that. Not all plants are healthy. So just because it's a plant doesn't mean it's good for you. Ooh, Luther the Great is here. Cheers, pull my ears. Happy Sunday drunk day. I mean drink day, yeah. <laughs> yes, you do always say cheers, pull my ears. So we're trying the red next for tuna. This is the fruit punch. Hmm. Tastes like watered down Hawaiian punch. Which is okay, because Hawaiian punch has a very strong flavor. Yeah, I think if you like punch, you're gonna enjoy it. I haven't really enjoyed Hawaiian punch since I was a kid. But I think they're spot on with the flavor. And I don't remember if Hawaiian Punch was like this, but it has a little bit of like a bubblegum taste. Is that crazy? 
squid punch. <laughs> yes, please, everyone, if you are not subscribed to Luther the Great's channel, go do that. Thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate that. All right. Okay, so we're going to do the purple next for Brandy. Let's hide that. There we go. Okay, so this one is Berry Punch. Makes sense. Cool. Okay. And yeah, it's got a nice little lavender color to it. That's cute. I like that. Hmm. Not smelling berry so much. Hmm. The smell reminds me of those berry Skittles, which were one of my favorites as a kid. Yeah, it is a pretty color. I like that. Very girly drink. Love it. Although that's like gender normative. Boys can drink purple drinks too. And non-binary -bin people can too. Hmm. So it tastes, it smells like berry Skittles. The taste kind of reminds me of, hold on. I can't put my finger on it. The closest thing I can come up with is if they made um, Laffy Taffy into cotton candy. If that makes sense at all, that's what that's what it tastes like. Hmm. Drink what you want, no discrimination. That's right. Agreed. Same with food. Eat whatever the heck you want. <laughs> Can't wait for the blue. Can I see coconuts on it? Uh, no, it looks like that one has pineapple. It's the tropical punch. Oh. Mix them all together at the end for one crazy drink. I think we should do that. I, I like the way you're thinking, Darwin. Yeah, you eat that stick of butter. Do it. Jimmy's here. Hello, Jimmy. All right. Let's finish this up and try our blue drink. Oh, and the carbonation's getting to me. Hold on. Preemptive, excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me. I can't help it. What about Sarge? What happened to Sarge? Did I not say hi to you? Darn it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to overlook you. You should know by now I'm terrible at <clears throat> keeping track of the chat. Okay. So the blue one, Black Widow Barbie was excited for. This is our tropical punch. And it looks like pictured... We've got some pineapple and then some watermelon. And this looks to me like dragon fruit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry I said hi to Sarge. <laughs> Jay Sarge says it's okay. I know you're drinking. I just got started, so I don't know that that's really an excuse, but thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, this one's also like a pink color. Ooh, that might be the prettiest one, actually. It doesn't really translate to the camera as well. 
it looks more orange on camera than it is. It's a really nice cloudy pink from what I can see. I know, I'm so rude. This one doesn't smell too terribly different than the, the fruit punch, which I suppose makes sense. It's probably the same thing with some extra pineapple in there or something. Hmm. It's lighter though. Just as sweet, but not as in your face. Okay. So, yeah, I know it's the last one I had, but I think the tropical is the winner. That's my favorite so far. Well, so far we're done um, until I mix them. Maybe that'll be my favorite. Then we've got the citrus. I like that one quite a bit. And then I think just the traditional fruit punch. And then we got our berry punch. I think that's the order from favorite to least favorite. But they're all decent. Again, I'm not a huge punch fan. I think a lot of people would absolutely love these, particularly if you're wanting to drink hard seltzers, um, but you don't really like seltzers. So a lot of the seltzer drinks, like White Claws, um, Bon Vive, what other ones are there? There's so many. Anyway, a lot of them just taste like alcoholic seltzer water. So it's a very light flavor. Um, the thing about Trulies is a lot of the flavors they have, except for the original ones, which are just like regular hard seltzers, their lemonades, their iced teas, these punches, they add the stevia to them. So they are very sweet. It's more like drinking a Smirnoff or a Zima, but much lower in calorie um, and higher in water content because it is a hard seltzer. So you're going to stay a little more hydrated, which is good. You still need to drink water, though, when you're drinking, FYI. Okay. Let me scroll back up. They should make a banana flavor. Ooh. I, uh, I don't like artificial banana flavor. I love bananas. Fresh fruit, love them. One of my favorites. Uh, but I don't like any of like the banana flavored candies. It just turns my stomach. And I don't like dried bananas. And I think that goes hand in hand with the artificial, artificial banana flavoring because it's so strong. It reminds me of road trips when I was a kid. Um, so I just associate it with being car sick. It's kind of ruined for me. Uh, Jimmy says put some tincture in it. Uh, no. I burned yesterday, Jimmy. If you want to watch me dying, go to uh, Nuke Chili Heads. You can watch me do the, the Death Nut 3.0. I did that yesterday. I'm in recovery today, um, and I was not doing well even this morning. So <laughs> I'm going to lay off the spice today. I, I did put sriracha on my lunch, but that's, that's the extent of spice that I am consuming today. So you're gonna chug the remaining booze. I'm definitely gonna mix them and drink them. I can already feel the flush in my cheeks. So I don't know if chugging all of them is a good idea. And I feel like that might upset you too, but maybe we'll do it. Thomas wants to know, did you miss the Sunday fun day song? You did, but I will do it again. Sunday fun day, better than a Monday. Can only do it one way and that is the drunk way. It's easy enough. Nuff won't sing the song. I wonder what we would have to do to get him to do it. Um, it was really good, Tuna. Uh, had no problems. It was in the bathtub for maybe two hours, just trying to be cautious. Got out, had no cramps, and then like 10 o'clock at night when I tried to go to sleep is when I started cramping. So that was cool.
Yeah, I flush really easily. I'm extremely white. It happens. What's going on, Jay Sarges? Yellow Starburst aren't banana flavored like Laffy Taffy. No, they are not. They're lemon flavored. I like I like yellow Starburst. You are indeed an influencer, sir. Yeah, it was, that's probably the longest I've had. So the, that was 10 hours after I did the challenge. It was kind of crazy. Um, but at least they weren't too severe. I was able to sleep through the night. It just woke me up a little bit for like the first hour. Okay, let's mix these together, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fun. Okay, so we're going to do some of the berry punch. Fruit punch. People are speed racing outside my house. Citrus. Tropical. Yeah, always tuna. Would you like a scratch and burn, Katie? Hef and uh, Luther did great. I'm not sure what that is, but um, sure, I think so. If Hef and Luther did great, then sure. Yeah, CRL should show those squids what real racing is about. All right, what does this smell like? Our crazy concoction. Just smells like punch. They all smell like punch. All right. Salud. Cheers. Pull my ears. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday. <coughs> it's not bad. Excuse me. Hanging with Mr. J, which is the favorite. <clears throat> so I put them in order, my favorites. I think the tropical punch is my favorite, then the citrus, then the fruit punch, then the berry punch. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Should we mix the rest? We'll just keep going. I mean, it is 6.30, and I'm probably going to go to bed at like 9, so... Sure, let's do it. Tuna says it doesn't seem like you really enjoyed these overall, though. Um, no, like I said, I'm not a huge uh, fan of punch. Um, I prefer their lemonade and their iced tea flavors. And the lemonades, I think my favorite is probably the mango or maybe the black cherry. And for the iced tea, I really like the raspberry and the peach. These are not all going to fit in the glass. <laughs> well, if you tell me to do something, just go all in, right? Yeah, I don't think that's how that works, Jimmy. It's still 5% alcohol. It's just m more alcohol. Bring it. <laughs> Bring out the boot. I need to order a DOS boot. Um, Badlands Chugs was selling DOS boots that he had signed for a while, but I think they're all gone. I didn't get one in time. I would have loved that. That's a really cute story. <clears throat> So I think it was my second year at Nathan's Badlands' channel was like starting to get bigger right before he like really blew up, but he was getting more traction. I think he was like just below a million subs maybe, <clears throat> which don't get me wrong. Like that's already huge, but he's got like 10 million subs now or something like that. Anyway, he was giving out Badlands Chugs uh, lanyards. And so he gave me a few and I brought them home and I don't really have a need for lanyards. Uh, I use them at work, but we, we have work branded ones. So I gave one to my son 
And he looks at it. He goes, you know, Badlands Chugs. I was like, dude, what do you think I'm doing when I go to New York every year? Like, that's how he became a thing. Like, Eric Badlands Booker is like a huge staple at Nathan's. I was like, yeah, I've met him. He goes, mom, Badlands is a meme. I was like, yeah, he's also a really sweet dude. (laughs) But that was a cute moment. He couldn't believe I knew Eric. Um... You got your 16 million Scoville tincture later. Oof. Oof da. Oh, okay. He's at 3 million. Okay. I exaggerated. Yeah, Matt Stoney's at like 10 plus million. I don't I don't keep track of all that really all that much anymore. I, I don't watch a lot of competitive eaters anymore because I don't know. I know they're gonna eat all the food. That's, I know how it's going to end. But yes, you should follow Badlands. The thing about him, so I'm amazed that he was able to turn chugging into this really successful channel because it's just this dude chugging, right? Um, but Eric has such a lovely personality. He's so charming. I think that's why he's so successful. All right, let's drink this, shall we? If you have your drink, get it ready doesn't have to be alcoholic. You can be drinking water, soda, whatever. Just hydrate. Cheers. Hmm. These two, because it's just the berry and the fruit punch, definitely taste like bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, he was already really cool. He'll deny it to this day, but um, my daughter, because they were in middle school together for two years. Two years? No. No. It was just the one year. Yeah, because he was in eighth grade and she was in sixth grade. Anyway, that year, she was adamant that he was the most popular boy in school, but he denies it. Mm. Yes, be very, very careful with the 16 million. Jimmy is chugging cold water and eating Doritos. I love it. What kind of Doritos? Just like the classic nacho cheese? Badlands tuna's catchphrase is also something that draws in the tunas. Oh, definitely. He's got a few, but like the one that always comes to my mind is don't touch that mouse. Is that what you were thinking? Don't touch the squid. Yeah. Yeah, handling the capsaicin might be good outside, Jay Sarge, just in case. Dorjitos. Oh, I still have those. I've been waiting for the right moment. I should probably eat them before they get like crazy stale, although they are well sealed, but um I think I'm going to do these this week sometime. I want to turn them into nachos. And uh, Neil sent me these from Cody. So super grateful. I've heard they're delicious. Jimmy, you have red bell pepper flavored Doritos. We do not have those in the U.S. that I've seen. That's really exciting. Have you seen Beard Meets Food? Cool and funny guy slash YouTuber. Yes. So uh, Liam, Liam Res Evil, um, you must be be new here or or maybe missed it. But for uh, those of you that have been around for a hot second, uh, you know that Beard Meets Food is one of the reasons I got into competitive eating. So I did my first restaurant challenge. I think it was 13 years ago now um, because I was inspired by man versus food. And then I really didn't do much in the way of eating, but I've always been able to eat more than most of my friends. 
And uh, what was it? In 2018, I was on YouTube and one of Beard's videos got recommended to me and I watched it and I was like, this is insane. And I kept watching his videos. I think I watched everything that he had at the time. I was just totally hooked. And because I watched his videos, you get to see other eaters anytime you watch one eater because they collab, they travel, they go to contests. So I started watching like Wayne Elhenio and Molly Schuyler and Dan Killer Kennedy, Bob Shout, um, a lot of the independent eaters. Um, and then uh, a lot of those guys are friends with Darren Breeden, who is signed with Major League Eating. So I went down that rabbit hole. And in, oh, I must have started watching Beard. Oh, gosh, I started watching Beard in 2017. Sorry, back up. 2018, New Year's, I decided as my New Year's resolution to try competitive eating. So I started doing home videos. Uh, I already had the YouTube channel, but I revamped it. I was just doing eating challenges at home. And then I did a couple local contests and Eat Feats, which is like the database for competitive eating on the internet. They uh, tagged me in a tweet and said that I should go to the Nathan's Qualifier in Vallejo, California. I was like, nah, I don't think I'm good enough for that. They're like, no, seriously, like there really aren't any strong female competitive eaters that are going to be there. And then another local eater in Portland messaged me. It's like, if you think you can even eat 10 hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes, you'll probably qualify. You should go. And uh, the rest is history, I guess. That was a long story. But yes, I have seen Beer Meets Food and I have a bunch of his merch. So I'm a total fangirl. I've gotten to meet him in person. We're good acquaintances now. I'm gonna try and go back and capture all your comments. Um, have you tried the blue taquitos? I haven't, um, or not taquitos, what are those? Takis, Takis, yes. That's what you're talking about. I've seen them, I've seen the blue Takis. Um, they dye your tongue blue. I, I don't really like Takis, honestly, but I, I would try them. Red bell pepper. Yes, yes. Yep. Check out Beard Meets Food. He has a new studio he's working on. It looks super cool. Uh, Beard Meets Food is awesome. He's part of the U.S. Eat Squad. Yes, he is a cool dude. The last Doritos you tried were the flaming Hot Nacho Cheese. Those are good. I also like the, I think they're sweet chili flavored Doritos. Those are good. Yes, the garlic bread song was fun. That was a really cute song. And I think he raised a bunch of money for charity with that, which is awesome. Yep, Darren eats. I got to meet Darren's new girlfriend um, at the corn eating contest, Jay Sarge. She is such a sweetheart. I mean, I could tell from the videos that she was a sweetheart, but she really is in person as well. Is Eat Feet still active these days? Yes, very, very much so. The only problem with that website is the only people that leave comments are trolls. They're... Um, disillusioned, disenfranchised, sad ex-competitive eaters that just write nasty comments, typically about the female eaters. Uh, they love to really tear like Raina and Molly and uh, Mickey apart. It's, it's really amazing. Sometimes I go in and fight with them because you, the problem with that website is you can post an anonymously. Um, so that lends to people being really hateful. But it also means that I can respond anonymously which I like. Uh, Finn girl, yes. Yeah, the first time I met Beard was at Croquetta's. I actually got to eat next to him, which is crazy because I'm a table under, but because he was so new to major league eating, he was closer to the end than he probably should have been. And I was wearing one of his merch shirts. Uh, yeah, I'm a dork. Joe Skull, you watch malt liquor, skateboarding, and food videos. That's how you found me. Awesome. All right. Fair enough. I don't skateboard, but I do sometimes drink malt liquor and 
food videos. That's right up my alley. You also do skateboarding and beer videos. Excellent. I will make note of that. Hold on. Do I have a pen? I do have a pen. Apologies, folks, but I just want to give credit where credit is due. So Joe Skull, sorry, I would click on your video, but they've changed the YouTube features, and I'm in uh, StreamYard right now. So I'm just going to write down your channel, and I will check it out later. My son is super into skateboarding. He and his dad built a pretty awesome ramp that uh, is up against our house right now, but he'll like wheel it out into our cul-de-sac and use it sometimes. What's my favorite memory from a competition? Honestly, my favorite competitive eating memory is probably my qualifier at Vallejo because I, it was my first like professional competitive eating contest. I was just a little baby eater. I had no idea what I was doing. I'd done like maybe two local contests before that. And uh, Sam Barclay, who's my absolute favorite announcer for major league eating was the announcer for that. And he does the most charming introductions and I just felt like so honored and hyped and excited to be there. And I did much better than I thought I was going to do. I ate 14 and a half hot dogs and buns that day, which is close to my all time best. Um, yeah, I really, really pushed myself. And uh, it was a great day. It was at Six Flags. So I got to walk around with my trophy and people kept asking me what I got it for. And they were super pumped and just felt good. It was a good vibe. That's why I love contests. Your girl Caroline, yep, yeah, she's awesome. She's badass. Yeah. Where's D Darren and Caroline? They need to hear this. Tuna says, is it a forum or something? There's a piece of Eat Feats that is a forum. So the way it's set up, they um, they post like news links to things that are happening in competitive eating and then people can comment on them. Um, but they also keep track of everybody's contest data. They keep track of uh, restaurant challenges across the US. It's a pretty cool website. Jimmy, you saw some snacks named Dynamite or Dynamita. Yeah, so I think those are the Takis because Takis has a dynamite flavor. Um, they are not hot. I mean, I guess relatively they are, but they're definitely like not challenge level or anything like that. How can anyone bust on Molly? She's a Maryland person like myself. Well, I mean, if you're hateful enough, you can bust on anyone. Um, but unfortunately, our society really likes to tear apart women. And in competitive eating, I guess, because it's not ladylike, they really like to tear the ladies down. They do it to Leah Shakiber, too. I hate it. But, oh, well. <laughs> Oh, we're talking about the skating videos. I'm going to check this out. I'm really curious. For the love of the burn, hello. Have you had the new challenge by Johnny Schoolville yet? The six hot ball cheese ball challenge. I have not, but I have it right here. And I was super excited. It's the first thing that I've gotten that is signed by Johnny Schoolville. I did not ask for that, but he did it. So very cool. I've heard they are horrible. Um, I think the mouth burn will probably be fine, but I've heard that the cramps are insane. What's in that? Sorry, just trying to find it. Ah, the usuals. Ghost pepper, seven pot, brain strain, seven pot doula, uh, maruka scorpion, scotch bonnet. That'll be interesting. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm going to do that soon. 
I think I'm going to do that with Groovy Lava Medic Swirl and some other folks. Nope, never. In fact, <clears throat> Black Widow Barbie, any other mods in here? If anybody knocks on Molly, they get blocked. Not permanently, but time out, time out. Uh, you just did it. It was brutal. Okay. Yeah. When I first started doing spicy challenges, I definitely was in over my head and there are some ones that were really bad, but honestly, people like to watch that. They like to watch the really extreme reactions. So, um, yeah. And I'll write you down too. I'm assuming for love of the burn that you have a channel as well. I will check you out. Tuna, the ultimate moment, Nick proposing to Mickey live. That was so sweet. I don't know why, but I was not expecting that. I should have thought, but yeah, he fought. You could tell he fought so hard to win that egg challenge because he wanted to have that win so that he had the perfect proposal. It was so cute. If you guys don't know, Mickey Sudo, who is the number one female competitive eater in Major League Eating, um, is now engaged to Nick Weary, who I think is number eight. Am I getting that right? Maybe. I apologize, Nick, if I got your number wrong. But, um, yeah, Nick won the Cool Hand Luke challenge that uh, DraftKings just did in Las Vegas. He ate 50 hard-boiled eggs in, like, three minutes or, yeah, it was just a little over three minutes, I think. And then he proposed to his pregnant girlfriend, Mickey, and it was so cute. Hi, Ernie. Welcome. I am so behind in the comments. Do more shotgun challenges. Okay. I could try that. I kind of suck at those, but I could try that. Brandy can't wait for Seattle Eats merch. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure when I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to at least wait till I have 5,000 subs. So um, if you guys haven't shared with your friends and family, share this channel. 5,000 subs, we'll do something really big eating wise and maybe we'll get some merch going. I just, I don't want to do it too soon. It feels silly to me. Your girlfriend loves the Trulies. Yeah, I love them too. I love the lemonade and the iced tea. I was mentioning that earlier. I get those all the time. Um. Because the internet is full of vile, disgusting, bottom-feeding waste of flesh. Yeah, you and I both know that, Nuff. You probably know it a little bit more than I do. <clears throat> For those of you that don't know, Nuff has like over 80,000 subscribers. It's a pretty big channel. And so his moderators really have to watch things because there are some nasty, nasty people in there. Thank you, Ernie. Yes, it's absolutely beautiful today, Maddie. I did get out. Prep your stomach for the for the hot balls. Yeah, I definitely will. And I see your picture right now is the Death Note 3.0, which I did yesterday. I prepped really well for that, um, and then I got cramps 10 hours later. Oh, cool. I'll check that out, Tuna. Oh, you have a video of you doing the six hot balls. Maddie, am I subscribed to you? I know you. But am I subscribed to you? I'm writing your name down. I'm going to verify this. Oh, Groovy's here. I was just talking about you, Groovy. I don't know if you heard because I'm behind in the comments, but we were just talking about Johnny's balls. Molly is a beast. <clears throat> oh, she would destroy Raina. That's not even fair. <clears throat> Sorry, now I'm getting indigestion from all the carbonated alcohol. Lovely. Um, <clears throat> yeah, no, Raina would just or Molly would destroy Raina. That's just not even a fair contest. Mickey is five. Nick is six, I believe. 
<clears throat> he might be. Yeah, and you're probably right about Mickey as well. I just said she's number two. Or Did I say number two? Maybe I did. Mickey's number one amongst the women, so there's that. And she has uh, she has beaten Joey Chestnut at some challenges, so there's that. You love watching Reckless Eating. Dude, where's my challenge? Colt Moo and Main Event Pong. I love all those channels as well, and some of them are my friends. Um, it really sucks. Yeah, totally. I wish Molly would do Nathan's. <clears throat> the thing is, though, I feel like if she really wanted to, this is really controversial. I feel like if Molly really wanted to, she could probably beat Joey. Is that terrible to say? I think she maybe could, though, if she really, really wanted to. <clears throat> the problem is that the male and female contests are separated. And just for Molly's sake, I would love for them to be combined so she could actually beat him. But I also don't want them to be combined because then I would never get to compete again. So taking advantage of that. The world's okayest merch. Ooh, spicy pickles. I like that. I'm trying to grow uh, scotch bonnets and it's not going well. Shout out from Chicago. Hello, Tone Rob. Oh, thank you, Tuna. Oh, and thank you. Yeah. My channel is not for everyone, but the people that watch it seem to like it. Hi, Donald. How are you? Please wear gloves when you do the six hot balls. I will. Oh, is there capsaicin in these? Like just pure capsaicin? I didn't see that. Hmm. I still don't see it. But yeah, I wore gloves yesterday for the um, death nut challenge because the capsaicin crystals, I don't mess around with that. I don't want to accidentally like touch my skin and get a rash or something. Neil had an issue with that. I forget. Was it the chug? but he got a rash all up his arm. It was sad. Oh, definitely. Support all the eaters. Yeah, I think she could. Yeah, Bradley. So I got these. Um, where did I find these? It wasn't Albertsons. Where was I at? It was a store I don't usually go to. When I recall, I will put it in the description. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I charged some of this earlier and I'm having a really hard time remembering where I bought these from. No. No. Maybe Safeway. I think I got them at Safeway. Well, if they weren't <clears throat> if they weren't combined and she still ate more than Joey, then she would technically beat the record. Yeah, exactly. That's true. That's true. She just wouldn't be able to, like, take the belt from him, which is what I want. <laughs> yeah, with, with the help from uh, a lot of friends, Molly has a really successful YouTube channel now, which makes me happy because um, I know she doesn't like that kind of attention. She doesn't really like being on camera. Um, but she's just so amazing. Like, it would be a shame to hide that talent. Yeah, that's what I've heard as well, Jose. Welcome. I don't think I said hi to you.
Tuna, Joey hasn't been doing great in the last few contests. Yeah, he's looked really pissed the last few contests. Um, he came in last place for the Halloween candy contest that they did, which is not great. Um, I'm assuming he just doesn't like sweets, doesn't like candy. And then, uh, what was he? Was he? No, he was last in popcorn too, wasn't he? Yeah, because Matt won. Jeff was second and Joey was last. So that's the second contest that he's come in last. But in his defense, I will say that the way Major League Eating is operating right now, when they do those DraftKings contests, uh, the main event that they do is really just like the top tier elite eaters. So he's not going up against like the full table that he would usually be eating with. Because obviously if we were all there, he would not come in last. Rooting for Wayne Ahenu and his health. Yes, yes, I did hear that Wayne recently had a stroke. Um, I've seen that he is really trying to focus on clean eating, getting healthy. I think that's great. Um, and definitely I, I pray for him. Wayne's a good friend of mine. He's one of the people that helped me with training when I first decided to become a competitive eater. So I mentioned earlier that I was a big fan of Beard Meets Food. Uh, he's one of the people that inspired me. Um, and then through him, I started watching Wayne and Wayne at the time was uh, super open about giving advice to folks. And so I messaged him and he was so sweet and so supportive. And he actually showed up to the after party for my first, first Nathan's contest. And it was really cute. I was just sitting there with some new friends I made having a drink and he came up and tapped me on the shoulder and I turned around and it was Wayne Elhenio and it was another fangirl moment, but now we're really, really good friends. So definitely hoping that he continues down that path and, and uh, is focused on his health. Yeah, it was the killer queen chug. Oof, that's terrible. Molly is the bestest of tunas. Love it. <clears throat> Ben, do you want to say hi to folks again and then get down? He seems uncomfortable right now. Want to say hi? He was in the thumbnail, so he has to say hi. He loves Sunday fun day. Yeah. You're the sweetest boy. Okay. Let's put you down. He and his brother have little doggy beds behind me, so he's got a nice place to rest. Okay, let's see. Oh, you want back up? Okay, come here. Come on. You're so silly. That's what you get with the senile old dog. Uh, yes, he did. Was the first DraftKings contest before Candy Bowl? I th think so. I think there was one before that. I'm trying to remember what they did. Gosh. It's funny. This past year has felt like so short, but also so long. Um, did they do something before Candy? I don't know. I'll have to look that up, Tuna. <clears throat> How did Joey do at the contest in Tampa? I don't remember where he placed, but Jeff Esper won because they had to do a variety of foods. So I kind of figured Jeff was going to win because he's really good with strange foods. Um, yeah, he's just super talented at that. So like the different techniques that you had to use for all those foods, I kind of figured he was going to win and he did. But I don't remember if Joey came in second or not. He might have. Have I spoken to the garbage disposal lately? Um, we messaged back and forth, Brandy. Um, he's pretty busy. Like he's setting up his new household. I saw they just got a bunch of uh, baby chicks. So that's pretty cool. But um, no, it's probably been a week or so. Uh, he seems to be doing okay, though. The bell I've got deleted again. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, I did not. I really like their channel too. That sucks. That sucks. I feel like YouTube in a lot of ways is one of the nicer forums for people making content. Um, in a lot of ways, they're not as strict as some of the other um, sites. But uh, yeah, there are a lot of people that are getting taken down. I'm surprised LA Beast hasn't been taken down. I mean, I know he has battles with them all the time, but he got second. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, this is a lot of truly. <clears throat> I am starting to feel it, guys. Whew. You should go back and watch uh, last Saturday's video if you haven't. <clears throat> I got my friend Jocelyn to do her first spicy. Well, it wasn't her first spicy challenge because she's done the Pocky One Chip, but like first official spicy challenge she did the hot dang bites with me so if you guys aren't su subscribed to roger at the hot, hot dang show you should and uh you should watch that video it's pretty funny but this just reminded me of that because she chugged four beers and gosh i don't i don't even know like maybe 15 minutes <laughs> she felt pretty good after that No drinking challenges and a prank that happened over a year ago. Wow. That's really sad. Yeah, and I know enough you don't care about the points, but I did make her uh, submit her points to the League of Fire, so she is officially on the leaderboard. Okay. Let's add in some more of these, I guess. And Blake and I have two new shows that we watch on Sunday night. Well, actually, we usually watch them Monday because we go to bed too early. <clears throat> but either late tonight, if we manage to stay up, or tomorrow... We have two shows on HBO Max. We are now watching The Nevers, which I highly recommend. And a show with Kate Winslet, whom I love, called Mayor of Easttown. It's excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, you told me that. Just sucks. Ooh, what are you getting, Brandy? Do you know? If Neil's still here, maybe he'll tell us. I don't know. No idea. Okay. It's probably tincture. Oh, good question, Maddie. <clears throat> no, I do not think first place in the League of Fire is in attainable. In fact, here, I won't even use the computer. But doesn't James Clopper have like a thousand points or something insane? Because he'll do like 15 of the same challenge in a row, which I just, I can't do. I can't physically do that. Um, let's see. Bear with me. Yeah. Oh, gosh. No, it's even worse than I thought. So James is at... Two thousand two hundred and seventy two points. Those are lifetime points. To put it in perspective, with the challenge that I did yesterday, uh, once those points go up, this is where I am at. 108. <laughs> so, no, I don't think that's attainable. And yes, Neff, if you have the time, money, and tolerance, it's definitely possible. 
Yeah, I mean, I see some of the people that are like really high up in the League of Fire. Excuse me. It's really getting to me. Um, I see some of the people that are really high up there and some of them are doing challenges almost daily and I don't have the money for that. I mean, a lot of those challenges range from 10 to $20. So if you can afford that, I mean, awesome. But yeah, Tuna, um, not all of the challenges I do count towards the League of Fire, and I don't always focus on that. Although I will say, like, lately I have been doing quite a few of them. But, uh, no, I like reviewing hot sauces. I like doing challenges that don't necessarily count for the League of Fire. So, here, I'll tell you how, ma how many Nuff has. We'll pull it up. Nuff doesn't care, but. But we do. Wow, my neighbors are having a huge party. It's kind of strange, but I'm assuming they know what they're doing. All right. Oh, why am I using that? I have a I have a remote mouse. There he is. There we go. That's not big enough. Let's do this. So there, you can see Nuff is at, what is that? 54. He's got 48 points. But Nuff doesn't care about points and he refuses to do the disclaimer. So that'll probably stay the same. <laughs> Sorry, was I not supposed to say that? Uh, all right, guys. It's been a full hour. So I think I'm going to go hang out with my husband. But before I do that, if you guys have any lingering questions, please feel free to put that in the comments. I will give you a second. Is Tuna crying? Oh, Tuna. Ben, that's the microwave. It's not for you. Come here. Come say bye to folks. <clears throat> oh. Neil's streaming? Okay, excellent, excellent. Excellent. All right. Enough is saying that all the challenges he did that count for points were done way prior to League of Fire. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, that makes sense. Well, thank you guys for joining me on my very first live Sunday fun day. I am feeling pretty, pretty good right now. Um, again, if you like punch, you're going to love these. If you don't like overly sweet drinks, don't bother. Uh, I hope that you all have a wonderful week. And everyone, head on over to Neil's channel and hold on, Ben, I'm gonna put you down because I'm gonna put Neil's channel link in the comments so we can go raid him as they say. I think that's the term. I sound like such a dork. Those are the grades. Neil is one of my absolute favorite people. So. You definitely need to go. Mm -hmm. Or is Tuna just messing with us? Oh, okay. Witty Tuna is, okay. 
So, Tuna, you're live streaming? All right. We'll figure it out. All right, guys. Have a great week. I will talk to you later. Bye.